Okay, Dave's turn four. Three. Three. No, Still three. Keep, I keep doing that. Oh well. Okay, so here we go. Here's the, here's the tabletop. He moved a, moved a lot of stuff. What'd you do, Dave? I moved this one fast, this one fast, and this one fast because basically you don't have a lot left and it's hidden so well I can't get um, line, line of sight on it anyway. This guy moved 12, so Sliskus and his boys on board can't shoot, but I'll still be able to shoot the Raider. Um, this one moved 12, so I'll be able to shoot that. Okay. Uh, the Scourges didn't move, but they did get in a little 3-inch consolidation. Um, this guy, actually, is going to move too. I haven't moved him yet. So Move the, th this guy fast as well, and th those Witches as well too. And then over here he got... Uh, all of his incubi out, jumped his vehicle over, got his incubi out, and then also got his other ra raider here with witches, and they jumped him out. So they're gonna they're gonna go after Logan Grimnor and his guys. We're gonna make a Logan sandwich. So and this guy there. just hopped up here six inches. Okay, so shooting then. Shooting. Let us start with this guy hopping up here six inches. Okay. Uh, the cyberite on board and. The blaster are going to try and shoot Bajorn in the face. Okay. So I have range to Bajorn. So one blast pistol and a blaster. Both will hit. Both will hit. Awesome. Four blanks. And, and that both bounce right off. Woohoo! All right. Um, the venom itself doesn't have line of sight on anything that it can actually shoot. I, if I was smart, I would have pivoted it like this and shot them. Uh, the Scourges... Could be worse. Could be that you're forgetting those things and losing. <laughs> the Scourges, who are unhappy about Bajorn wrecking four of their buddies, are going to attempt to get rid of him. <laughs> so I have two Heat Lances, which are, once again, within melt range of the big guy. Okay. And two uh, Haywire Blasters. So here's my Heat Lances. Both hit this Ooh, time. They're angry. Here's my Haywire Blasters. Both of them hit uh -oh. two. Not good. So let's do whites and reds together for the heat lances. Okay. So that's a six plus a strength six, and you're a twelve because it's a lance. Okay. So, so that's a glance, and, and that's one bounces off. Still nothing. And then here's my haywire blasters. One pen, one glance. So two glances and a pen. So two glances and a pen, and one of the glances is AP one. Okay, so we'll do them separately. Here's the pen, because Bjorn has a five up in Vone save. Okay. He doesn't take the pen. Here is the AP1 glance. He does take that, and here's the other one. He doesn't take that, so an AP1 glance. Here is your AP1 glance. It is a three, three. weapon destroyed because of the AP1. Uh, okay, so let me think about this here. It's gonna take. I'm gonna take my close combat weapon. That's grody, I don't know if I want you to do that. All right, yeah, go ahead and do it. Keep the same result. Okay. Yeah, we'll take his close combat weapon for now. All right, so Bjorn does not have a close combat weapon anymore. I don't know if this is gonna come off, so we'll just call his, his, arm, his arm's gone. But that's okay, because he's still strength seven. I'm gonna shoot him in the back with the Dark Lance from Duke Sliskus's right. All right, well, I'll get a cover save from that, and I don't know if it's in the rear or not. Where's the Where's the Dreadnought's rear arc? Um, we'll say the side. Okay, so I mean, if we're, even if we're, we're pretty generous with the side arc here, I don't know if Sliska's vehicle is going to be in the side. He hits. He pens. There's my cover save. You're shooting through a bunch of stuff. I do make it. See, now you're rolling decently. It's because it's Bajor! He can't die! And I got one more lance right here. From the Witch's Ride. Same target, and it missed. Right! Bajor's gonna get to eat some more of those scourges. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, got another lance from the Incubi's Ride. It's gonna pop your Land Raider. It's a hit. It, it bounced, bounced off. off. All right. Terrible. Well, the witches are plenty close enough that you're not going to need to fleet. So they're going to shoot all of their pistols into Logan's squad. So there's the witches on Logan's squad. 
So, 10 pistol shots. Two missed. Wow. Some gross rolling, man. And... Oh, well, we made up for it. Two, two wounds. wounds. Not, not awesome, but maybe you can start rolling some more of those awesome ones. It's true. Uh, Logan Grimnar. And uh, we'll take one on him, and we'll take one on uh, just a regular Terminator. So here's a regular Terminator. It's okay. And Grimnar is also okay on five. Okay. This Razor Wing actually moved only 12 and is able to fire. And I don't know why I'm measuring it as the average. Okay. So back to the old standby. Reds are the disintegrators. Okay. Good thing, because the white one sucked. So we got four hits from disintegrators and two hits from the whatever the other weapon is. So three invuln saves and that's all. Three invuln saves. Venom cannon, splinter cannon failed us. Three invuln saves. We will take them on, we'll give one to Logan, because he's got a bunch of wounds. He takes a wound, that's okay. And uh, two on regular guys. And one of them dies. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Okay. So. Those things have definitely been the bane of the, my existence. Note to all enemy players of those things. Definitely take them out first. Not that I haven't been trying to, but... <laughs> Now wait a second, wasn't that, which one was, oh this one, this one, never mind. This yeah. one was the one that was shaken. Yep, yeah, that's the one that's shaken. Alright. So we're going to go for close combat I think now? Yep. Okay. We are. We'll come back when we're all ranged. Okay, so we moved in here and uh, we're going to fight now. So obviously all of his guys are first. Um, I have preferred enemy for, with my rune priest against infantry, so. Wolf or priest. Wolf priest, that, whatever that one, yeah. <laughs> and uh, then Logan Grimnar is going to uh, choose Fearless. I well, I a lot of wounds. I can't take too many wounds. I don't have that many guys. Yeah. So I'll choose Fearless. You choose at the beginning of the turn anyway. Oh, well, I would have chosen Fearless at the beginning of the turn. So. Cool. Alrighty then. Oh, yeah. And uh, that was the other thing. Logan's going to pop his once a game ability, so all space wolves within 18 inches of them get plus one attack. So. Gross. Oh yeah, we're going to counter charge too. Yeah, this is awesome. We're going to counter charge. Woo. Counter charge goes off, so we get a lot of attacks, assuming we live to make them. Okay. So, Let's Dave, do this. Dave's like, you're not going to, you're not going to win. Alright. <laughs> do, uh, do Incubi have grenades? I believe so, but actually, I'm glad you brought that up because I forgot to look. Because if they don't, I'm gonna kill them! They don't have grenades. Yes! <laughs> Alright. And that's because Dave never plays with Incubi, he plays with witches. It's because Witch there's 202 do. points apiece, which is ridiculous. I brought him as a point set to help me get to the right points allowed. And I'm going to kill that point sink so bad. All right. <laughs> so the witches, who do have grenades, <laughs> are initiative six for less than half of the cost of the incubi, not to mention have an invuln save to come against all your crap. That's true. Here is the... Witches are much more cost effective. Hecatrix with her agonizer. She hit with three of them. That was pretty special. Gross. And agonizers are four up. So she kills two. Uh, yeah. Two um, invuln saves. Two invuln saves, and then to go with that, you got the rest of the army. So n or the rest of the unit. So nine more with three attacks each. So I still have all my dice. I need three more after this. Okay. And we'll need fours and then fives because they have regular attacks rather than. Agonizer, so shrink three witches. One, two, three. 
He's gonna pick out dice there, and I'm gonna kind of look at the board here because I got chastised for how close I was holding the camera to stuff at the beginning. <laughs> so we're gonna get a get a, a bigger look here at the the gruesome carnage, the disgustingness that is happening to the beautiful space wolves. Pretty nice. Having having a high toughness is working out for the space marines here. You still take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds. Seven wounds out of twenty-seven attacks. It's pretty good. Plus the two invulns. Plus the two invulns. So that's just on my regular squad, which is yep. five guys left. So there are. Uh, Four or two, two pieces with, or two pieces except for one guy. So we're gonna put one on the cyclone missile launcher because we want him to live. Um, so here's here's the one for the cyclone missile launcher. He's okay. Then we're gonna put two on the power fist guy. He's okay. And then here are the two, uh, the other three. Sorry, let's see the other. So you have four more armor saves. Four more armor saves and two and two invulns. Two saves. Okay, so a total of six saves. So and these are all going on guys that are identical. So here's the two invulns saves. Looking for three or better. One died. And the four armor saves. Another died. Wow. Can't roll well, can I? So I've lost two of these guys. So we're going to go ahead and kill off the other two here. And now, because the incubi don't have grenades, I get to go first with everything. <laughs> so so Logan has seven attacks. I'm going to kill people, a lot of people. I'm going to hand over the the camera here to Dave. So six attacks? Seven. No, oh, yeah, six. Six, six, six. six. And uh, he gets to reroll to What does the wolf tooth necklace do? That hits me on threes. Oh, hits on threes. Okay, so he hits on threes with whatever. Here's level skill six. And he needs... Threes. threes and then twos because he's strength five. Five for the ten axe. So threes. Good thing I get to re-roll because that was a horrific roll. <laughs> the only person who would have liked that roll would be uh, Karn the Betrayer. And re-roll. That's much better. So one missed and twos. And these are power weapons. Six. So Logan Grimmar kills four guys. Okay. So the and then go away. Does it, do they have like a ghost armor thing too? Or no, that'd be awesome. They're just gonna die. Okay. They're just gonna die. Now my rune priest, who I think probably has two tax base, two base. So he gets one for charging and one for Logan. Logan, and he gets a reroll, reroll. Yep. And he's only or he's only. Got a power weapon, so he's just strength four. So, so he's, he's gonna threes. he's gonna hit me on oh he's gonna hit on threes because we gave him a necklace. Uh yeah. yeah. Otherwise he wouldn't because we're weapon still five. So good thing we roll. Everything hits and three swing you. Two more die. Okay. Now uh, a couple of, I have two lightning clash guys. So they've got base two plus the counter charge plus the uh, Logan's ability. So they have a total of eight attacks between the two of them. These are all going on the incubi. Four. Reroll. So three misses. And they'll reroll to wound with their claws because they already had a third enemy. So three dead so far. Reroll. Five dead. So that will kill all of them off. Yep. Now the one power fist guy that I have left will go ahead and swing at. Nobody. Oh, range. Swing at butchers. Okay, so I lost two guys and Dave lost eight guys. Ten. Ten guys. You lose by eight, I mean. So run away, witches. Run away. <sighs> and I can't catch you, so. Which they do run. Away. See how far they run. They run four inches. Awesome. They're gonna Terrible. Run next turn too, and I consolidate one inch. <laughs> and 
Let's switch over here. All right. That was our one close combat, so we will move some stuff and then uh, go to. They're just gonna. The witches are just gonna fall back four inches. I'm gonna go one inch. Incubi are dead, and then it will be my turn three. All right, so we got Sean here. He's going to. Oh, is this going? Yeah, it's going right now. Oh, okay. Oh, did, did we start like, wrong? No, 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 we'll no, that, nope. no. That's fine. Just keep it going. Okay. Is it going? It's going. It's still it's going. going. It's still going. We're gonna not edit this. We're not editing it. I just wanted to remind everybody that you can buy this Dark Eldar army, or rather, a duplicate of it. Let me know. Uh, the raiders are kind of an extra thing. These hornets, uh, but the base army is um, right around twenty five hundred points. It's fantastic. It can be duplicated. Uh, just uh, send me an email, and it can be done in pretty pretty short order. And it is, as you've seen, it's a fantastic army. It's fun to play. Lots of options. And uh, if you did want to uh, do these custom raiders based on Eldar Hornets, you could just let me know. We could do regular Dark Eldar raiders. Yeah. Too. Um, so there you go. Thanks, Sean. Ta -da. Yeah. Okay, so re to recap my movement phase, um, Bajorn thought about coming over here and trying to take this guy out, and then I was just like, whatever, I just want revenge. We're just gonna go for the kill. <laughs> We're just gonna go kill those scourges, man. They're just gonna go down. I don't even care. Uh, I moved. I moved this guy, this bloke over here. He's kind of just trying to make these guys' life more difficult to shoot him. But he's gonna go and come up, try and take a shot and blow up one of these tanks here. Uh, the guy inside, who's my Secret last hope, and I'm revealing this as Dave is standing right here next to me. <laughs> My secret last hope to try and get his objective. He's going to go ahead and run. He made a movement of three. Made a difficult terrain. I move runs another two, so we're just going to estimate that's not really important. I'm sure that Dave get, will get around to shooting him and he'll go away because I'll roll a one. And that's a tall order to get all the way up there in <laughs> three turns with the movement. So. These guys move to the other side of the doorway here in the hope that maybe they'll make them miss some fire or something. I don't know. Um, we move these guys up here, and we're kind of into a chunk of terrain there, but it's okay because we're going to try and either blow or salt that vehicle up. And those guys, we're close enough that those witches are going to have to run away again next turn, which which was, it's, it's kind of a nice thing. I didn't kill any of them, but I sure killed their incubi friends. Yeah, those guys died. <laughs> I can pretty much win. Uh, I can pretty much end this game happily, knowing that Logan Grimnar was like, "Yeah, killed a bunch of Incubi. It was pretty hot, pretty awesome." So we're gonna go ahead and do some uh, shooting. Um, and the, I've already made a run move, so that was one of my shots. Then the Cyclone missile launcher here is gonna take a pot shot, and it's pretty uh, fairly open. And I'm getting my thumb in the way here. Let's see, it's a fairly open shot on that uh, venom there with the with the guys inside, so we're gonna go after them. So here's my cyclone launcher. It'll hit twice, and it will pin twice, so. And I will take my four up flying fast cover save. This, oh, did these guys fly fast? Yeah. I thought they fired, okay, whatever. Yeah, this one fired, these guys just flew fast. Totally spaced it, not important. He doesn't get either, either one of them. Uh -huh. And thank goodness he's fast, that means that uh, on a four, I will blow him up because it was uh, moving fast with the skimmer. And those are... That's a cocked. That's a cocked die, and that one's a three, so his weapon's gone. One of them. And then that one's going to be a four, because he's open top, so he's destroyed. So a pin check for the guys inside, which they're okay. And then we'll go over here, and my land raider will just try and take out this uh, this raider. We'll just load every unload everything into it. He of course has shields, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm gonna get I'm still out of melta range with my Malta Melta. But uh, does that affect my rapid fire range? Yep, it affects. It takes six inches off. It's as if as if your gun was basically six inches short. Well, no, at twelve inches you still get a still get my rapid fire. Yeah. So I still get a rapid fire from my hurricane bolter, and my assault cannon will fire, of course. So we'll go ahead and fire my assault cannon here. My assault cannon hits three times and is twin link, so we'll re-roll this guy. That'll hit as well. So the assault cannons hit everything. We'll just roll, finish those up real quick, see how much it pins and force. It's going to pin twice. Yeah, this is actually a rending pin. It's not that that matters. I'm, I'm lying to you. Yeah, assault cannons rend. Yeah, not that it matters because I pin you on a four. 
Um, and then the Hurricane Bolter that can see has six shots. So it'll roll. And it's twin linked. And that didn't help at all. And then it needs sixes to glance. Nothing. And then uh, finally the multi melta will hit and pin, it, pin again. So we have two regular pins and one AP1 pin. Okay, so here's my flicker field, AP1. Yes. And the other two. Yes and yes. Awesome. So three pins on that guy, he's gonna blow up, which is nice because it will take out a, a lance, so maybe my land raider will just be immobilized for the rest of the game. And we explode it. Yep. It's very open top. And, and nobody's within six inches nobody's of it, so six, it won't so matter. It'll blow, it'll go away. All it's right. gone and there's a crater there. We're gonna fire the cyclone missile launcher at man, I don't I think we're gonna have to fire it at something I don't want to fire it at. We're gonna fire it at this thing right here. This guy that shot at me last time. So here's the cyclone missile launcher. One hit. And uh, uh, two will glance you. So he gets a save. Flicker field. Which no. he didn't make. So glancing hit of two is stunned. So that that guy's not gonna not gonna do anything. He's just gonna just gonna stand there. Okay. Well, that was that was okay. That could have been worse, I suppose. All right. Um, Bjorn has lost his combat arm, but he's not gonna fire. He just wants to go in there and beat up on scourges. So he's gonna <laughs> do that. <laughs> so this, well, we'll come back after. Well, we just do it right now. He's just gonna move his scourges in. I'm just gonna roll. Um, so here go. Let's see. You still get five attacks. Yeah, still have five attacks from him because he gets four base and one on the charge. And he needs threes to hit you and twos to wound you because he's still strength seven. Yeah. He's gross. But they will get their armor saves now. It's not a, a uh, power weapon anymore. Uh, and he wounds three times. So three saves for the scourges. Um, let's see, I have two heat lances and two haywire blasters. And here's John Gentry coming to so, check us out so before he heads out. One of the heat lances. All the dead ones. Yeah, those he are all lives. my dead guys. And two regular jamokes who both croak. So two guys died, and uh, he loses combat by two. And I lose combat by two, and I hope I run away. I hope you stay. Go ahead and stay, it's all right. Dave, It'll be all right, though. He doesn't There's really like have any damage. five or six over there. We did, we did. We killed some guys. Uh, oh, We eight. lose by two, so that's a break. Oh, no. All right. And we get a... Eight again. Eight for, how, for, for our initiative. Boom, baby! A nine! Bajorn is in the house. Bajorn the cripple he catches just, the scourges. He just rocked those scourges. All right, now he's going to take his consolidate. Two inches. Ooh. He's feeling pretty butt-kicking. <laughs> All right. Do you have a blaster on this vehicle right here on top of here? Yeah, and blast pistol. Well, can't really do much about the amount of firepower that he's got going on. He's gonna get to take some pot shots at me no matter what I do. So we'll just, Jordan's just gonna kind of back up like that a little bit, two couple inches, and put his back to that at an All angle right. there. See you guys later. Ready can't go. really, can't really help that we're really close to that thing. It's gonna cause me pain. Turn four? Yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty good about that. That was kind of fun. We can just keep the camera on for just a second here while okay, we... Okay, so my witches run an additional six, six inches. inches. It could have been further. It would have made me happy, but... Yeah. Oh, well. We're going to chase those witches off the table. It's going to be awesome. This is turn four, so we don't have that many turns left. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how much damage that uh, how much damage they can he can do to me here because doesn't if he you know I don't really have that many guys left so anyway we're gonna go with his movement phase and then we'll come back.